Okay, so in the last video we encountered a synchronization um, issue. So our Excel client is going to save this calendar Excel file in our Google Drive in the Windows side. Okay, and it will take maybe up to a few seconds for it to synchronize on the cloud. Okay where the service is going to um, read that Excel file. Okay, so to, to deal with that issue, what we're going to do is the following. We are going to wait until that file exists. Okay, but before then, we need to make sure that this file, to start with, it doesn't actually exist. So let's delete that. And let's also, from our client side, make sure after we finish everything that we do delete that file. Okay, so let's just copy this again. Okay, and paste it here. Okay, so after we create our file, and we finish um, everything, we call the service and everything, we're going to delete that file, okay? Because that file, we're not gonna need it for anything else, okay? So, on the server side, what we're going to do is the following. We're going to have a while, we're going to loop indefinitely, okay? So while true, what we'll do is we will try and get that file. So we we'll let file equals base folder get files by name calendar is going to be this. I'm just copy that and paste it here plus dot xlsx. And it's not going to be just one file, it's going to be files. Okay. Now, if that's, and that's going to give us an iterator. So if files has next, that means that file does exist. Okay. We're just going to break out of that loop. But we also want to give it like a timeout. So let's define, um, so let timeout equals 10,000 milliseconds okay and then we will start it so let's start equals new date and let's get the time of that so get time what we'll do is we'll say if new date get time minus start is greater than or equal to timeout then we want to not only break from this loop okay we also want to we don't want to execute any of the of this so we'll just return let's also define this timeout outside okay because that's going to be used by the other so we'll say it's a constant actually. So let me say const, okay. So we'll make it for up to 10 seconds, okay. That's it, so if we find this file within 10 seconds, then we will just break, okay, and then we'll carry on. Okay, otherwise, after 10 seconds, we will just return and this is not going to execute at all. Right, so let's save this and let's publish a new version. Okay, and I think we're good to go now. Okay, let's give it another go. Okay, let me first of all delete this. Okay. And then on this side, I don't have that Excel file. 
Right, let's try. Add. We've got the calendar. Excel, it's still, you see, it's still updating. It's still syncing. Okay. It's, it's synced now. So hopefully this will be, this will kick off now. Okay, there we go. It's meeting number one. Okay, I think it's finished. Let's see if we refresh it. Huh. So it only did the first meeting. It didn't do any of the other meetings. Okay, so the issue is that I have different dates here. I think what I did was instead of entering 111, I put one uh, the 1st of January. Okay, and then when I copied these two all the way down, it just took that pattern and repeated it. So I've got down to 2011. Okay, so what I really want is I want all of these to be just the 1st of November 2020. Okay, so I think this should be okay now. Okay, see so if I click add events. Okay, so hopefully one by one they will come up here. Um, let's see. Yeah, perfect. So if I refresh, we're expecting them to be all the way up to 8.45. There we go. Okay, so we've got from 9 to 8.45, and then we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and we've got 12 here, so from 2 to 13. Okay, and if I delete, okay, so this is syncing still, synced. Okay, once it's all done, hopefully these two will disappear. Okay, okay, they have, and all the events will have gone as well. Okay, if I refresh, perfect. So our calendar um, service and client are working perfectly well together. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and I shall see you in the next video.